Yo, it's Nico Baby, and right now I'm about to do my 24-7 HH King bars to my new record, Wavy. Don't start talking all that who I rub, baby. You love me so much you starting to hate me. I sauce it up, I know I drive you crazy. I'm Wavy, I'm Wavy. 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 That right there is the chorus. That chorus actually stemmed from, I mean, it was, it's just my story, being a young brother from the hood, you know what I'm saying, a young African-American brother from the hood, you know what I mean, trying to at least fall in love, but still trying to make it at the same time, you know what I'm saying, so why I went with that record was basically, I was talking to my, my lady at the time, you know what I'm saying, basically trying to get her to understand that I'm trying to, I'm working, I'm working so we can be good, you know what I'm saying? So I'm wavy, like, you know, everybody got their sauce, everybody got their drip, everybody got, you know what I'm saying, whatever they call it. Me, I feel as if I'm wavy, you know what I'm saying? I'm on a different stream than everybody else, so I call myself wavy, rather than drippy or saucy or I got it or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? So that's where wavy came from. This record is called Wavy. That record was produced by my homie Ism from California. As a matter of fact, I put this record together out of the energy, you know what I'm saying, basically telling your significant other hustlers telling his significant other rather that baby i'm hustling you know what i'm saying don't start complaining now that i'm out hustling i'm out getting to the money you see what i'm saying you weren't complaining when i was bringing the money in you know what i mean so now i really gotta hustle i gotta bring it in bring it in i gotta take care of the family i gotta take care of the kids so right now you can't really give me grief because i'm hustling just love me or don't you know what i'm saying that's basically what that was i don't really get into a whole lot of writing like i don't like writing down it's like when i hear the beat and when i hear the instrument and I feel it like okay man yeah I just want to say this on it so I just sit down grab a mic say everything I want to say in the order I want to say it in maybe not the order I want to say it in but I just say everything I want to say on that beat you know what I mean especially when it raises my emotion to how I want to feel about that beat that particular beat so I don't really do a whole lot of writing it really be coming out of the heart everything literally everything what's that is this your very first time in the trap house? She like, can somebody tell me with the cap out? Girl, I'm gonna have to spank it if you whacked out. Facts now, she my whole thing. Every 30 minutes got me posting. Boy, I've been going Tupac with the nose ring. If I'm a dope dealer, you a dope fiend. Codeine And I be dripping salsa So I be wet up Didn't need a doctor To get my check up Might just have to deal with the fact that I'm a flexer And don't be boring on my phone I ain't a texter <laughs> That verse is basically saying You know what I mean I love you You know what I'm saying But I love my grind a little bit more You know what I mean A lot of us Like we want to be in relationships That that need our full undivided attention And we not even at the, the point in our lives where we can just give full undivided attention so it's really more so like i'm telling you like all right look i love you you know what i'm saying and i understand you love me too but i gotta hustle because i can't be messed up i can't be broke you know what i mean i gotta take care of my family i gotta take care of you so you gotta realize that i'm not just doing this for me i'm not doing this so i can wear diamonds and look good and stuff like that i'm doing this so we all can even though i know i may be wrong for not giving you my undivided attention i know you're gonna love me even more if we winning and we doing better and we doing good so that's basically what that verse was coming from right there see like in the beginning of a relationship with me i let them know straight up like i'm hustling i'm working i need to reach a goal by a certain time i got kids you know what i'm saying and i actually love my kids and i really want my kids to not have to struggle the way that i had to so i really want the person that i'm dealing with or talking to right now as of now i'm single but like the person i'm dealing with and talking to i want them to realize that i'm going to spend a lot of time on hustling i'm going to spend a lot of time on getting myself together so my children won't have to struggle and fight and go through stuff that i went through you know, I've been shot, you know what I mean, been shot at, I've been homeless, I've been kicked out of people's houses, you know what I'm saying, I had to sleep in cars, sleep in playgrounds, so me, the drive that I'm coming from is I'm looking at their face, you know what I'm saying, like man, I don't need them to go through the same thing I went through, because I love my kids, I love my mom, I love my brothers and my sisters, so it's like, I really, I really put myself through it so they won't have to. So that verse
first was basically introducing my significant other to my hustle. You know what I'm saying? Is this your very first time in a trap house? Basically, your trap house can be anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Mine just happened to be the studio. You know what I'm saying? Hustlers got their trap houses. You know, working men got their trap houses. And mine is the studio. So it's basically me bringing it into the studio and showing like, this is what I'm doing. Don't get down on me now. I'm trying to hustle for us. I need to bring it in for us. I need to be the provider, the man. You know what I'm saying? I need to be the stronghold in the house. So it's just like, man, me telling them, like, stick with me. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm trying to get to it for us. You feel me? I'm trying to live for us. I'm trying to eat for us. So our kids won't have to struggle or my family don't have to struggle or mama don't have to worry about bills or you don't have to worry about those shopping sprees you like to take, women. But I'm just saying, though, you feel me? <laughs> but nah, for real, like, it's really more so just telling them, like, man, I'm hustling. I'm pulling this together for us. I'm grinding so, so you won't have to work hard or the babies won't have to work hard. Moms don't have to worry about busting a sweat too much. That's why I go out and bend my back and bust my to do what I need to do. <laughs> For me, man, I had a rough upbringing, you know what I'm saying? So like this record really, really came from a, a place in me that was special, you know what I mean? I had a real, real rough upbringing. It was times, I, I mean, I had to make my own decisions. Like even at 13 years old, I made my own decision to walk out of my mama house. So I know how I feel to live in a rough path. I know how to feel to, to watch all your friends and homies die and then be left outside with nothing. People put you out their cribs and you gotta sleep on back seats of cars and sleep in playgrounds stuff like that so this record really came from a place in me the hustler place in me it was what i want to say you know what i'm saying this this record really came from a real real deep hustle place for me this was like something different for me you know what i'm saying especially the poppy feel isn't brought with the record it was like man i wanted to give it to everybody because everybody got these same struggles everybody got these same hustles and you know what i'm saying like you can have a million dollars or no dollars like everybody got it you know what i'm saying everybody got these problems with a significant other or the person they love or people that love them that they're not giving them much, that much attention that they need to give that they should be giving but because some of us don't want to be down we don't want to be hurt we don't want to be broke or messed up we don't want to worry about the bills and we don't want to worry about if mama eating or, or the kids are eating so we hustle we focus focus 100% on our drive like and it's more so either you're gonna be here with me or you're not you know what I mean that's just my hustler drive right there I got my artistry drive as a matter of fact I, I've been on music for a while since I was a shorty I fell in love with music my dad used to drive a taxi as a matter of fact and he'll come pick me and my brothers up and ride us around the city and <laughs> he'll put on all old school songs and just sing to us like he wasn't like the best singer but he was good at what he <laughs> was able to do and it was like man hearing my dad do it is just like man I wanted to be just like him I felt as if my pops was my best friend you know what I'm saying and I Everything I did, I tried to do in his image, you know what I mean, as far as my, my music. This was the step he didn't get to, you know what I mean, as to really putting his foot into the music and really going far. I've worked with many artists, many big artists, Tink being one of them, Kevin McCall, a couple of major names, as a matter of fact, you know what I mean. But it was like me sticking my foot in it was more so like, all right, let me see where I can take this. Let me see how far I can get it. Let me see if I can actually learn how to really sing and keep moving. Let me see if I can become a professional. So being a kid growing up, it was always R&B and soul and jazz and contemporary. So it was more so like, man, me, I was putting my heart into it. But I never really took it serious until like two years ago. Uh, an incident happened where I got shot a couple times here in Chicago. Being in the hospital and hearing, to my, hearing my doctor saying what they said about me not being able to walk no more and not being able to use my own legs to move around or move myself around in and out of showers and the drive I put in me like I laid in my hospital bed and I prayed I prayed I talked to God I talked to my mom and it was just like man if you give me this second chance I promise I won't sit down you know what I mean and when I started feeling myself being able to like stand up on my feet and trying to move my legs by myself without therapy without going to therapy I never spent not one day in therapy all my therapy was done in my mom's living room you know what I mean by myself just me my little sister my mom my brother my cousins would come by and I'd be doing all that by myself and it was like man once I actually regained my movement it was like, first, take me to the studio. I went to the studio in my wheelchair and recorded a song. I call, it's called Broke, nigga. But <laughs> I don't want to really say the words, like, but it was just a record of, of me basically giving 
a rundown of the things I just went through. You know what I'm saying? I was broken. And at that point, it was like when I noticed I was broken, I was down, everybody started leaving. Like everybody I thought I loved now, I thought loved me, started leaving. And it was more so like, man, it, it hit me real hard because I'm like, all right, yeah, now I really got to do this. I really got to prove them wrong. I really got to prove me wrong because I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. You know what I mean? It, it was more so a personal thing with me now. So I told myself, like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get into music. I'm not saying I'm going to be the biggest artist in the world, even though I'm going to work to be the biggest artist in the world. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get there. I'm going to succeed. I'm going to show these people that they wrong. They said I couldn't do it. I said I couldn't do it. My family, a lot of family members told me I couldn't do it. Friends I thought were my real friends told me I couldn't do it. They left me when I was in that wheelchair, but now I'm out. So now I'm up. Wavy well, definitely was the picture to kick it all off, man. Hey, look, man, my best way to for the things you're going through or whatever, keep going through it. <laughs> keep going through it. Don't get discouraged. I always keep a smile on your face. I always keep that up mood. I always know that everything is going to be all right in the end. Every trouble does a triumph. So I never, ever, you'll never see me frowning. You'll never see me down. You'll never see me sad. Like, you'll never <laughs> see me having a bad day, even though my day probably going like hell. I keep going. I keep moving. I keep smiling. I'm always the happy type. Like, I don't care what it is I go through. Even when I got shot, I was in that happy. I was laughing on the way to the hospital. I know it probably sounds crazy crazy but as long as you keep smiling don't get discouraged and know that it's somebody higher than you that controls this situation and you know he not gonna leave you in something that you can't handle or you can't bear you know what i'm saying he don't put nobody in no situation that they can't bear at all god does not call the called he called and destined the call so it's like it's always man keep that smile keep your head up keep your head up because always man even though it's rainy right now it's gonna be some sun to come out soon my name is nico baby n-i-k-k-o-b-a-b-y underscore as a question you can find me on every social media at that just that n-i-k-k-o-b-a-b-y underscore as a matter of fact i got a new record that i just put out entitled scream i'm gonna say early early 2020 i'm gonna be releasing my first my second ep excuse me my first ep is out everywhere right now but my second ep will be coming at the beginning of the year and it's going to be entitled i don't know who needs to hear this you know what i mean this is like it's a lot of different messages on there from love to to hurt to pain to excitement to being up to being you know what i'm saying thrown in loops and confused and it's it's everything it's a lot of different messages for everybody